Result, that we must protect ourselves at all cost and attack people with whom we dis dash agree are people who have something we want. This me also leads to an unsettled or agitated state of mind that tells us we'll only be happy if we get certain results or feel a certain way. We want to be someone we're not, or we don't want to be who we are. Conditions or circumstances in and of themselves don't cause suffering. They can cause pain or unpleasant experiences, but we add suffering on top of this when we think we need those circumstances to be different. We create even more suffering when we act out in ways that deny the reality of the circumstances and the reality of impermanence. Craving is the underlying motive that fuels unwise actions that create suffering. Inquiry of the Second Noble Truth. Colon. List situations, circumstances, and feelings that you have used harm. Dash. Full behavior to try to avoid. Name the emotions, sensations, and thoughts that come to mind. When you abstain, are there troubling memories, shame, grief, or unmet needs behind the craving? How can you meet these with calm? Dash. Passion and patience. What things did you give up in your clinging to impermanent and unreliable solutions? For example, did you give up relationships? Bye. Dash. Financial security, health, opportunities, legal standing, or whether I am. Dash. Important things to maintain your addictive behaviors. What made that? Addiction more important to you than any of these things you gave. Up. Are you clinging to any beliefs that feel craving and aversion? Beliefs that deny the truth of impermanence are beliefs about how things in life should be. What are they? 
if you have experienced discrimination based trauma or social injuries. Dash. Twice. How can you meet the experience in a way that honors your true self without creating more pain and suffering? The third noble truth. Ending the suffering. It is possible to end our suffering when we come to understand the nature of our craving and realize that all our experiences are tempo. Dash. Weary by nature, you can begin a more skillful way to live with the dissent. Dash. This faction that is part of being human. We don't need to be torn apart by our thoughts and feelings that say, I have to have more of that, or all. Do anything to get rid of this. The third noble truth states that the end of craving is possible. Each of us has the capacity for recovery. We are responsible for our own actions and for the energy we give our thoughts and feelings. This means we have some control over how we respond to our own suffering because the unpleasant emotions take place within us. We create them through our response to experience. We don't need to depend on anyone or anything else to remove the causes of our suffering. We may not be able to control anything out there, but we can learn to choose what we think, say, and do. We come to under dash stand that if our thoughts, words, and actions are driven by greed, hatred, or confusion, we are creating suffering within suffering. If we let go of these attitudes, we can lessen suffering and even create freedom. We can choose to give up these causes of disturbing and unpleasant emotions. This is the true empowerment and freedom of recovery, recognizing that happiness and suffering are up to us, based on how we choose to respond to our experiences. Inquiry of the Third Noble Truth Colon What makes it so hard to quit? What resources are available to help you abstain and recover? List reasons to believe you can recover. Also list your doubts. What? Make the wise and compassionate part of you. You're building